So this video is sponsored by Evoto. Evoto is a next generation AI software that helps retouchers, photographers, literally anybody in the industry quickly edit or retouch their images. I've introduced Evoto to quite a number of people and it has stepped up their game. By stepping up their game, I mean it has reduced their workload, it has made their work easier and they're able to take more jobs. So there's a new tethering AI feature available in Evoto that's going to help photographers who are shooting in the studio like how I'm doing today or anybody using this particular software on site whilst they are shooting to retouch and show their clients or if you want a quick edit to give off to your client a very soft retouch you can have that done on site by using your tethering tools to take the pictures so i'll be using my canon 5d mark 4 today together with either a 100 millimeter lens or an 85 sigma art lens i'll use a tethering tool into my laptop which the software used today will be Evoto, just so that you can see how the Thedrin works. I think it's just an easy plug and play. You plug it in, it shows up, you start taking your pictures, you make your adjustments, and the more pictures you take, the more the adjustments keep on applying to them. So let's look out for that in today's videos. Guys, meet Shireen and meet Joey. And we are in photo space. I told you guys I'm not in my space today. Uh, yeah, I'll be using LEDs today to shoot. I have a 500 watt Jimbei LED for the key light. And because we are in photo space, we are using photo box by photo place. So all the Fs are there. Link in the description below. Just go buy some. Support the business. Anything I'll talk about today, there's a link in the description box below. So, so currently I have my Evoto AI opened, the standalone editing software. I have connected my camera. So I'm reading ISO 320 F5 shutter speed 1 over 160. I have my picture profile on neutral. I have tested it and I realized it picks the picture profile from the the camera so most of the times i tell people the picture profile really doesn't matter when you're shooting raw but evoto actually takes that into consideration so let's see what happens if i should take a picture right so shane chin down then the head towards your beautiful just like that um, take a test shot see how that looks like that's good so if i want to correct anything the way evoto works right you can use presets that you have created already you can use recommended presets but what i would do because i want to quickly edit them here whilst i'm shooting i've taken a first test shot and it looks really good I didn't think the first test shot would look good like this. So I'll make some adjustments. I'll head into color adjustment and let's fix the white balance first. Hit on the white balance and this is what we have. So assuming this is the look I'm going for with the white balance and everything. If I want to make any other adjustments, maybe I push up my white a little bit, open up my shadows, drop the highlights. And when I'm done, I'll go into my portrait retouching. What I do is move freckle and acne removal. For the purpose of the tutorial today, I'm going to move everything to 100. So body blemish removal, if there are any iron color, removes them. Dark circles, that's a pretty good job. Small line, neck wrinkle. There's no neck wrinkle double chin yeah um remove armpit fat crazy 
then into skin retouching smooth face skin i'll send everything to 100 right then i'll zoom in and i'll do a quick before and after before and after before and after so this is where we are at i'll save this preset let me rename this to tutorial and save this preset just so that i come back into the tethering then go sync with previous so whatever picture i take from now on will synchronize with whatever adjustments i've made in the photo let's fix the hair which most of the time is a problem for a lot of retouches all right so scrolling up to hair let's fill hair parts line it fills it in very good like i said 100 percent today then i'll remove stray hairs 100 percent that's crazy take a look at that it cleans it perfectly before and after before and after okay fit let's go back into our tethered shooting great tilt the head into that direction Ooh, lovely Zoom shoot from this way okay turn the head totally this way keep it okay so basically all what Evoto is doing is making sure I am able to quickly edit whilst I'm shooting here and because I'm shooting live with Thedrin. And that's the feature centered around the Thedrin shooting in Evoto. So I'll go on to take more shots, probably will be off camera, probably I'll show you guys like I always do. And I'll see you when I'm done shooting. These are the other three images I got after shooting, and these are other three images I'll be using to explain a feature here in Evoto very soon. So, more on that later on in the video. But yeah, I have applied the presets I created when I was shooting earlier and I want to quickly jump into what I want to show you under the portrait retouching. Under the hair function, we can see remove stray hairs. Remove stray hairs is a new feature that has been added, which goes to show that any new feature added in Evoto, you don't have to pay anything extra to use them again. So as you can see, this is before and after. Let's zoom in right before and after before and after don't pay attention to the color fix that has been done earlier just pay attention to the hair fix let me reset this so that you can see the initial problem all these hair strands fly away hairs outside the hair inside the hair so within figure is inside the hair beyond figure is outside the hair so i'll move all this all the way to 100 and that problem is immediately fixed bye bye to all the hours that are going to be spent on retouching hair so beyond figure i'm just going to reduce it a tad bit to have some sort of natural flyaways just a little bit over there and i'm going to fill the hair part line as you can see over here so let's move this to 60 which will be perfect for me now the next thing i want to tackle before i synchronize to the other two images will be eyes and under the eye option i'm going to remove red veins that's 100 percent i don't want to see anything there at all then the next thing i want to do is to increase the brightness of the eyes when retouching and you want people to pay attention to the image you worked on make sure the eyes are properly retouched and i think Evoto has that here to do the job so eye brightness quickly 
and the work is done so we fixed the hair gaps we fixed the red veins we add some shining to the eyes and literally we made an adjustment to the hair so i'm going to synchronize on these three other images hit on sync and it will save the preset because we've already saved it it's going to synchronize on the two other images remember we already made color adjustments with this particular preset earlier in the video so it's going to apply those color adjustments also here and here so it's processing beautiful All right so this is before and after before and after just take a look at how the flyer ways have been fixed take a look at this this is so beautiful again bye bye to all the tedious work and trying to fix all these flyer we hairs immediately i think yeah immediately i finished shooting and did this quick retouch i was able to export for the other two people i collaborated with and they actually loved the images and that's what we are looking for right to make sure to quicken our work processes and to make our work easier so like i was saying earlier all the functions are completely free to use and one function i want to show you is the glasses glare feature all function so you can find that in the blemish removal all the eyes so let's use the eyes so glasses glare beta take a look at this so whenever it is you take pictures with models putting on eyewears usually you have some glares in the glasses this function literally takes that away just with a push of a slider and we are done that's it like if that's the problem we want to fix that's that it's gone it's done next function i want to show you is to derinkle your clothing i've already mentioned this feature in the previous video you can go check it out so these are all old features i want to quickly touch on you can iron your clothing out you can fix your backdrop this is not solid backdrop but i think this will do a very good job because it's not a textured backdrop either so if you don't want this and you really want to change the backdrop you have other options to change them too and i think fabric o2 works pretty well for this particular image right the next thing i want to touch on is the ai color looks available here in evo 2 let's go to this particular image this is what i want uh, this particular one i got from mr Price. what i really want to use and for all those interested in using evo 2 there's a link in the description box below sign up and get 30 free credit exports just so that you can enjoy evo 2 so use that link in the description box below to help do that okay so let's try a couple ai a couple ai look here so i have luxury texture i have sunshade i have olive green these are my three top picks amongst all these let's see golden ray or warm and cozy or warm cinnamon right this looks great really if i'm if i'm actually going for a creative look i think this looks great there's a few touches to this i want to do so i can go into my basic maybe reduce the shadow to bring some blacks into the hair open the white yeah and i think that's that so that's changing the whole color from yellow to this if that's a creative look i'm going for but if i also want to try another one let's hit on sunshade and see so sunshade keeps uh yellows all right but it blows out my shadows so i'm going to reduce the shadows and also reduce the exposure bring back my highlights maybe open the white a little bit and add some clarity all right so shadows back and this is what we have before and after before and after these looks are amazing very 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 good so if i'm to export this particular photo and i come back to evolve and I, maybe i make an adjustment say i go to the portrait retouching and i add glasses clear i don't lose a credit after i have exported it previously so if i lose a credit from exporting earlier when i come back and i make an adjustment and i export again 
I don't lose a credit. And that's one good thing about using Evo2. All the functions are free to use. It's a one credit, one export photo system being used over here. You have unlimited previews. Like as you can see, I've been making adjustments to this. So maybe I want to remove some blemishes. I do that. Body blemish, I do that. Um, dark circles, eye bags, if they're all available, smile lines, neck wrinkle, if there are any double chains available, it does that armpit fat, removes that very well. Then I go to skin retouching, send this all the way to 100 if I want that job done perfectly, as you can see. Then I'm going to keep it here go into my clothing the wrinkle clothing keep it at 80 and let's see how good a job it does so before and after before and after i love what i'm seeing so if i'm to export this i'm just going to lose a credit there are no limits to it so when you buy the credits when you sign up and you love it and you buy the credits literally you'll be able to use that credit for up to a year and for special cases if you want to to extend it for you they can extend it into the following year for you which probably ends up being two years that's if you have a valid reason so just reach out to evoto if you have any concerns and all that but link in the description sign up enjoy free 30 credits or 30 exports to all your photos all the functions are free like i said the AI color adjustment that I just showed you, I currently are using Sunshade, they are free and all. So you see when I come back into the color adjustment, I think every other adjustment I've made in all the other tabs goes up. It's just because of the real time color adjustments because you want it to be faster. But if you want everything processed every time you make an adjustment, you can toggle it off, then everything is seen as it is. So let me zoom in before and after before and after if this is the look we're going for we can stick to that so that is one good feature about all this so after i made remember after i finished with everything i selected these three images and i synchronized so that's where bulk editing comes in the main the main main topic or the main concern about Ubuntu is bulk editing and bulk editing helps every other photographer i've known out there it has helped me for all my fashion shoots and mostly some of my wedding shoots and evoto is here to save the day so jump on evoto if you haven't tried it yet thank you so much for watching today's video make sure you subscribe like and share make sure you share make sure you comment down in the comment section below if you have any problems check out evoto with the link in the description and i will see you in my next video i bring you really good stuff and this is good see you